What is up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Andrea and in this channel I make videos about interior design. So if that's something that you are into, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because I upload videos every single week. So guys, some of you have been asking me if interior designers design furniture and the answer is yes, there are some interior designers who design furniture pieces? And the answer is also no, because the vast majority of interior designers do not design furniture pieces on a daily basis or even at all. And because this answer may be a little bit confusing, I've decided to make a video to clarify some things. So I really hope that you enjoy this video, and without further ado, let's get right into it. Can interior designers design furniture? Yes, but it's not that simple. To be able to design uh, furniture, you have to have a certain amount of knowledge and also a certain amount of skills about furniture design. And the reality, guys, is that not all interior design programs will actually give you detailed courses about furniture design, which makes it harder for interior designers to be able to design furniture right out of university or right out of design school. However, this does not mean that interior designers will never be able to design furniture. You've probably heard from famous interior designer Kelly Wrestler. She has designed a number of furniture pieces throughout her career. So it's not odd to hear that some interior designers will collaborate with companies or with cabinet makers to create custom furniture pieces. So probably the reason why you are watching this video is because you want to know how to start uh, designing furniture. So guys, there are actually two paths that interior designers can take to start designing furniture pieces. The first one would be to enroll in a program that teaches you about furniture design. So furniture design is not an easy thing to do and there is actually a career that prepares you to be a furniture designer. However, most interior designers will not be interested in this path because this would basically mean that you are going to switch careers from interior design to furniture design and that is not what most people want to do. Some designers want to be able to design furniture pieces whenever their clients ask for it without having to study a second career. I have had the chance to design custom headboards, desks, tables, and nightstands whenever the clients specifically ask for a custom furniture piece for their space. To be able to do this, you don't need to study a bachelor's degree in furniture design. However, you do need to know certain things. The first thing that you need to know is hand sketching. And as an interior designer, you probably already have this skill or you probably don't. And the reality is that a furniture designer must be able to translate their ideas into a piece of paper in a very quick way, which is why you need to be very good, or at least you need to have the ability to sketch. If you are not a good drawer, you should definitely start practicing your drawing skills. So try to draw as much furniture as you can. And this can be either the furniture that you have at home or look up for some furniture pieces online and try to learn how to draw all types of furniture pieces. There is an Instagram account that I follow and all they do is sketch furniture pieces. So I will leave that in the description of this video so that you can check that out. If you studied interior design, you already know how to make orthographic drawings. And for those of you who are not familiar with this term, orthographic views are basically the projection of views of a drawing. So basically, these are drawings that give you enough information and enough detail and description of an object for someone to actually make that object. There are six views of orthographic drawings. So you have the top, the bottom, the front, the back, 
the left side and the right side. And these views include dimensions of all the features and all the parts of the object that you are designing. So you can think of these as interior elevations and sections that we typically make uh, in interior design. Furniture designers heavily rely on software to create the furniture pieces that have previously been designed on paper. And actually, most orthographic drawings will be made uh, with the use of computer design programs. The most popular ones are SketchUp, CAD Pro, Rhino, uh, SolidWorks, among others. I personally have used SketchUp and AutoCAD for designing furniture, but I have found that Revit is also a very good uh, software. However, it's not self-intuitive at all. If you've worked with this program, you already know that it's a little bit complex to work with. The material that is chosen for every piece of furniture that you see out there is not random. For example, if you're gonna make a couch that's gonna be placed uh, outdoors, you wanna make sure that the fabric of that material is waterproof. So you wanna be using brands like Sombrella, for example. So the point that I'm trying to make here is that it's very important that you know which materials are suitable for every type of furniture. And this includes wood, upholstery, metal, even plastic, MDF, laminate. There's really a number of materials that furniture is made out of and it's very important that you know the properties, the advantages, the disadvantages if you are wanting to use them to create a furniture piece. So it is important that you self-learn about this type of things because that's the only way that you are going to start gaining more knowledge about furniture design. As part of designing furniture, one thing that must be accounted for is user comfort. And this is achieved by knowing the right dimensions that should be used when designing furniture pieces. I will use seating as an example. If you want to design a chair, you want to make sure that you know what are the minimum dimensions for the width of the chair, for the height of the chair, for the depth of the chair. Things like the backrest is also important. If it gotta be tilted, what should be the height? So it is important to know about the standard measurements of furniture pieces because that is something that you definitely don't want to get wrong. On that note, some furniture pieces may be more complex to design than others. So the amount of information about furniture pieces that you gotta have in hand mainly depends on the furniture pieces that you are wanting to design. Typically when an interior designer designs a piece of furniture, he or she is only designing it. But if that were to be you, you would only be designing the piece, but you're not actually gonna be building it with your hands. So you need a team of people who will actually make your design come to life. So this could be a company or a single person, such as a cabinet maker or a furniture maker. So usually some interior designers will go to small shops to get information about how can that piece of furniture be made and they will get details such as the cost of designing that piece of furniture, the time frame, the material availability and other details that must be considered in order for a person to be able to design your piece of furniture. There is this YouTuber that I watch pretty frequently. His name is Arvin Olano. You've probably heard from him. And he actually just launched a marble table not too long ago. It's a beautiful marble table that he designed in collaboration with a uh, Italian company. So as you see, each time there are more interior designers that are experimenting with this uh, furniture design industry. And this is really another way to get creative as an interior designer. A furniture designer does not generally have the education to do the job of an interior designer. However, interior designers do have a lot of the skills that are required in order to be able to design furniture pieces. There are a lot of advantages that interior designers have and I'm gonna share them with you.
So if you want to design furniture pieces, knowing the principles and the elements of design is going to come very handy because you're going to need them to create furniture pieces that are functional and beautiful and balanced in terms of design. The concept of beauty and aesthetics is very important when you are designing a furniture piece because of course you want it to just be beautiful and interior designers do have a very good sense of what this is. So this is another advantage that you have if you want to create any type of furniture. Another useful thing to know is about the history of design and about all the famous uh, pieces of furniture that have been created uh, over the years. I did learn about this when I was in interior design school, so I hope that some of you guys did as well. This type of inspiration will help you to design better furniture pieces and to learn from the designers who have designed them. The different interior design styles is also another critical thing that you need to know if you want to create furniture pieces. You don't want to create a piece of furniture that's not going to coordinate with the overall space where that piece of furniture is going to live. If you are an interior designer, I'm sure that you are already familiar with most of the interior design styles that are out there, so that's definitely another advantage that you have. And I already mentioned that the technical drawing skills as well as the hand drawing uh, skills are very important when you want to design furniture pieces. So you already have these skills if you are an interior designer, I really hope so. And this is really one of the biggest advantages that you already have to be able to just create your own custom pieces. I really hope that this clarified some things about furniture design. And I just wanna say that learning how to design furniture is a long process, so it's gonna take some time. And at the end of the day, you don't have to know every single thing about this practice because there is gonna be a team of people that you can rely on to be able to make those pieces. But having said so, I would recommend that you try to learn as much as you can about furniture. For most designers, this is really a self-learning experience and the more you learn, the more confident you will be. And it is important that you learn this skill because I have had times and there will be times where clients ask for custom pieces of furniture. So definitely something that you wanna learn if that's something that you wanna get into. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you liked this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you learned anything today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.